it's 2080 and we're 90 years old. We're standing in our castle made of travertine and olive trees, surrounded by our children and grandchildren calling us Grandpa Roger and Grandma Karen. They're asking us to tell them stories of the pandemic, and this is what I'll tell them. When we first met in 2015, we were just two kids, two artists who found each other through a random act of fate. Since then, I've watched you grow from an angsty artist to the best father to our little son, and I'm so happy to call you my partner in life. When I first met you, I had no idea what an adventure being together would be, and I had no idea how perfect we would be for each other. There is poetry in the way you see the world. And my vow today is that no matter what we do, how old we get, or how many babies we end up having, we never lose the poetry. I vow to always hold your hands through the ups and downs and to find beauty in the mundane. <laughs> We're stronger together and we can accomplish any goal we set our minds to. And most importantly, I know you can change a diaper. <laughs> When I think back on our entire history together, I realize that we've already kept an unspoken vow to each other since day one, to always say yes. <laughs> to say yes to each other, to say yes to every opportunity, to say yes to trying new things, to say yes to everything life has to offer. We said yes to traveling to Japan together as our very first trip, even though I barely knew you. We said yes to moving in together once we got back, even though we barely knew each other. We said yes to starting our own businesses, even though we didn't know what we were really doing. And we said yes to moving apartments every single year for five years in a row, <laughs> just to shake things up. <laughs> so today my vow to you is extremely simple. I will say yes with you for the rest of my life. I vow to say yes together together as best friends, as equal partners, as husband and wife, and now as mother and father to our beautiful son, Solomon. Karen, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Roger, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Roger, when I step away from the stage, you may kiss the bride. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Tran. You ignite creativity and thoughtfulness in everyone around you. And together, your family will always be a blessing to everyone who knows you. Together, you guys can accomplish anything. May your love continue to flourish and grow, and may your days be filled with endless laughter, joy, and love that knows no bounds. During the tea ceremony yesterday, Roger's parents blessed the next 100 years of their marriage, and I am so excited to see what the next 100 years of Roger and Karen's marriage have in store. So let's toast Roger and Karen 100 years. <laughs> Cheers. I'll tell them that the best decision of my entire life was saying yes to you in 2020. I love you. Okay.